In today's one hour DIY project, we're making some beautiful countertop trays with tile and hardware. This DIY is super simple, but what makes this project intermediate is the tools and techniques we're gonna be using. Let me show you how to make this, then we'll talk about design tips for picking some of the materials so you can create a tray that perfectly fits your style. Don't miss out, I do all kinds of cool projects just like this, so you should hit that button so you stay in the loop. So I'm making this tray to match our pool deck. We use this material for the actual patio, so I wanted to repurpose this piece to make a really chic tray that could go on top of our wooden table and tie everything together. So in order to attach the hardware to the tiles, we're gonna be drilling holes for our bolts and then attaching lock nuts on the bottom to secure them. The only trick is that you can't drill through tile with just a regular drill bit. It will chip or not go through at all, depending on how hard your tile is. So really quick, we're gonna cover the right tools and bits for the job. So for tools, you can use a regular drill, but a hammer drill is gonna be much, much more effective. While a regular drill just applies force by spinning, a hammer drill uses basically extra punches to help your drill bit get through the material. You'll know it's a hammer drill for two reasons. First, there's usually a handle, so you can apply two hands while you're squeezing the trigger and pressing it down. And second, you'll notice a switch on the top of the drill that has a hammer setting as well as a regular drill setting. A hammer drill will give you a little more power to help you drill through your tile. Okay, when it comes to drill bits, you have three options, and choosing one depends on the material that you're using. If you're using a softer tile like ceramic, you can go ahead and use a masonry bit made for ceramic tiles. That's one of the easiest materials to drill through, so if you're using a harder material like porcelain or real stone, you're probably gonna wanna use a diamond tip drill bit. Now these can get a little pricey depending on which brand you buy, but it's totally worth it because this helps cut right through and give you a nice clean hole. Another option, depending on the style of tile that you're using, is a concrete drill bit. These paired with a hammer drill can help you get through products like this, which is a natural stone. This is travertine. Okay, so the strategy for this project is to mark off the placement of these so that they're evenly spaced and all lined up. Then I'm gonna drill all the holes with a diameter that fits my machine screw. And then on the back, I'm actually gonna drill a larger hole so that I can fit my lock nut into it so that it's flush and there won't be anything sticking out of the bottom of the tile. <laughs> that's not as hard, I would try out this option before investing in a more expensive diamond drill bit unless you just happen to have those laying around. If you have ceramic tiles, you're in luck. It's pretty much just as easy as drilling through wood. The only difference being that when you're drilling through tile, you wanna be careful not to chip the finish. Ceramic tiles and tiles that come painted with, with a finish on top of a base tile can chip easily. The way to fix this is to either apply a piece of tape or clamp a scrap board to the top of your piece and drill down into it, starting slowly until you've drilled through that top decorative layer, and then you can pick up speed and finish the hole. Okay, so now I've drilled holes for the hardware in to my tile. So I'm going to take a larger drill bit and just drill out part of this hole a little bit larger so that these guys can sit flush. so that this doesn't scratch the table or countertop where it's being used.
be less complicated if you go with the style of hardware where you screw directly into the hardware. This means that you can drill your holes and just bring that hardware screw up from the bottom versus something like this that just has holes. So I'm going to have to use my own lock nut in order to keep the bolt in place. If the machine screws that came with your hardware aren't long enough to get through the tile, um, such as if you picked a larger piece of tile like this, you can actually get screws the same size, just longer at your local hardware store. Just bring the screw with you so they can match it up. Okay, so you can obviously customize this tray to be any size that you want, but I would recommend using a one foot by two foot piece of tile. This looks best with a lot of hardware options, especially if you're using this long handle vibe, but you could also go with a square tile as well and pick some modern sleek hardware. I will link my very favorite hardware below. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, you should hit that red subscribe button down below so you can stay in the loop with more fun and fresh projects just like this. Oh, also, if you're new here, my name is Kara. I'm a designer and DIYer over at Never Skip Brunch. And One Hour DIY is actually a project me and some of my DIY besties came up with to help share some projects that are easy to do in an hour. Whether you are new to DIY, you work a full-time job and you're super busy and you just wanna whip something out really fast, we wanna give you easy but sophisticated projects you can knock out super quickly. You can follow along on Instagram with our hashtag One Hour DIY or with the brand new account that we just started to host and feature all of our projects. Hey, let's be friends.